welcome back to the channel everyone how are you guys all do it i hope everyone is well so today we've got another dev blog for the next coming update and as you guys can see by this beautiful piece ship there's not any ship some people will get very excited for this so let's jump into the video read what the stale has to say if i know anything i'll put my five cents in but i'm not gonna put my five cents in because I don't want to get destroyed by all you people that will fall in love with the ship and that will be happy see it coming to the game. I'll just keep my comments to myself. But you don't have to keep anything to yourself. You can leave me a comment, leave me a like, leave me a subscribe, leave me share would be pretty cool if you could share it with your among your friends. And yeah, the biggest thing will be a subscribe. It takes like a millisecond to hit that like and subscribe button and turn on notifications. Will be mighty appreciated. So let's jump into the video. So, you can see it's the USS Texas. He's coming to the game. Alright, pretty cool, pretty big ship, pretty cool ship, pretty interesting ship. Big guns everywhere. Anyhow, but guns fire for everywhere. Okay. I also remember this, he had a very big crew. So, the USS Texas B30, BB35, the first and the last. USS Texas is one of two New York class battleships constructed for the US Navy prior to the outbreak of World War One. Uh, considered as one of the most powerful warships at its of its time, of its uh, for, for time of its construction in 1945 configurations, the USS Texas will soon reinforce top rank of the American Blue Water Fleet in War Thunder as um, it docks in War Thunder ports with the arrival of the next major update. First American super dreadnought built at the eve, the eve of World War I served through both uh, world wars and introduced many technologies improving throughout its service. USS Texas battleship US USA doesn't give a rank. Come on, fucked up. Uh, heavy primary battery guns, excellent anti air armament. Competitive, competitive, whatever protection. We've got good protection. High displacement, low mobility, air search radar. That is pretty handy. I've got that one um, Russian battleship that's got a uh, radar, and it makes shooting in naval a bit, in, a bit more, be, uh, a lot more enjoyable. Um, yeah. So I'll just leave it there for a few seconds. Anybody want to watch a little history? Even though I doubt, because you guys only watch like two minutes of my my videos, but it's fine. Okay, go look at the pictures. It really does have a lot of armament, but I will say it again: the detailing is fantastic. These guys that do the models for War Thunder. They really know their story. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, in War Thunder, the USS Texas will be. Let me just scroll this down. Up. In War Thunder, the USS Texas will be a powerful new battleship awaiting seasoned captains at top rank of the American Blue Water Fleet in the next major update. Sporting a superior mix of offensive, offensive and defensive weapons capable of. Excellent protection. The USS Texas will soon become a formidable adversary to face off in the high seas of naval battles. The USS Texas main batteries consist of 10, 10 of the already familiar 14, 14 inch stroke 45 Mark 8 356 millimeter cannons, which veteran captains may recognize from the USS Arizona, the USS Nevada. 
Unlike the later designs, however, the guns on the USS Texas are mounted on five pairs of central line mounts, proposing four total guns. Fewer total, oh, fewer total guns than the USS Arizona. The additional redundancy in having an additional turret reduce the impact of critical blows to the main weapons you can have on the ship overall fighting capa capacity capacity furthermore the vessel's primary guns are argument by a strong secondary battery consisting of six five inch 127 millimeter and 10 three inch 76 millimeter cannons which come handy especially when dealing with smaller and more nimble targets at closer ranges. Yeah. In stark contrast to most of the American battleship, current presence in War Thunder, the USS Texas Nobili notable improved anti air defense, thus making the warship an excellent AA platform. And previously mentioned 10 dual purpose 3 inch 76 millimeter gun, complemented by 10 quad 40, 40 millimeter Bofors and 44 single 20 millimeter cannons, providing an impressive level of firepower against not just hostile aircraft but also torpedo boats. As a result, Allied vessels with poor, poor AA capacity can effectively team up with the USS Texas and remain under its protection umbrella. Well, that is very true. Very, very true. Fun fact, after 33 years of active service and a long list of accomplishments in the US Navy, the USS Texas is the only Super Dreadnought class battleship existing anywhere in the world today. It's list as World Heritage Engineering Marvel. The warship is currently undergoing a major restoration at Gloverstein, Texas. Now, this is the one that was the USS Texas, if I'm not mistaken, is the one that appeared in Battleships, the movie. That was that ship positioned at Hawaii, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken. I don't know. That a different ship. I'm not. I'm not very clued up when it comes to the American ships, and I'm not very clued up with many nations. That's an upside down picture. Someone was taking pictures. How did that pitch you? Game stood. What if this is supposed to be India? This was a mistake by the devs to include that. Oh, well, anyway. Like the USS Dreadnought battleships of its time, USS Texas features a formidable armor layout, with the main belt going up to 305 millimeters in thickness, which additional reinforced by torpedo bulges to increase protection against this deadly underwater threat. For more, uh, 356 mm of armor plate shields the gun turrets, those resulting in excellent overall protection against incoming enemy fire. This coupled with a high crew count of 1,810 sailors gives the USS Texas uh, super combat endurance. However, the ship's high Displacement also results in capable low mobility, with the USS Texas only being able to reach a top speed of 21 kts or 39 kilometers an hour. US Texas will appear in the game with the release of the next major update, War Thunder. Oh, this is some pictures. Yeah, they are that they posted. The renovation of the ship. Okay, there you go, ship dudes. Kids. So there's also a special for you guys. You guys, or well not a special, some free advertising for World Thunder. You can greatly speed up your research on this vehicle with this uh, with the kit, with the USS Dos Modis Modis pack. I think you've said that right. So it's the ship Reg IV uh, IV 2000 Golden Eagles preview account for 30 days, $60. See you ladies and gentlemen, that's all the snail has to say about it. The USS Texas is coming to the game. Please, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe and leave me a comment. And tell me what you'd like to see coming to the game. 
keep well i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye